Once Buddha was sitting under a tree. A man came to him and started abusing him. After abusing him, the man stood there waiting for some Buddha's response or reaction but to his surprise there wasn't even slightest change in Buddha's expression. Man got more angry and used more insulting words to insult Buddha. Still he didn't got any reaction or response from him. This kept on going for a few hours. At last man got tired and asked Buddha, I have been abusing you, insulting you yet you are not angry at me? Buddha replied, it's because I haven't accepted it. Man got confused and questioned, but you heard it, every single word. Didn't you? Buddha smiled and replied, I don't need abuse. Then why would I hear it? Man got more confused and stood there. Buddha understood his confusion and explained it further, all those abuse remains with you. Man replied, I have said all those words to you. How would it remain with me? Buddha questioned, suppose you give someone coins and if that person doesn't accept those coins. Then with whom will those coins remain? Man replied, if person doesn't accept those then coins would remain with me. After listening to man's reply Buddha smiled and said to him, you are right. Same happened with abuse. When you came here and abused me. Said those insulting words but since I haven't accepted a single abuse from you. Then all those abuse would remain with you. So, I have no reason to be angry with you. Man understood his mistake and apologized to Buddha. The best way to deal with anger is to stay calm and composed. This may not be easy, but it is important to remember that the other person is not in control of their emotions. They are reacting to their own pain and anger. If we can stay calm and centered, we can help the other person to calm down as well. We can also model the behavior that we want to see in them. If we want them to be calm and respectful, we need to be calm and respectful ourselves. It is also important to remember that we do not have to accept the other person's anger. We can choose to not let their words affect us. We can choose to focus on the positive and not let the negative get to us. When we do this, we are taking control of our own emotions and not letting the other person control us. We are also setting a good example for them and showing them how to deal with anger in a healthy way. If you learned something valuable from this story, do like, subscribe and comment on the video.